Hello everybody, this is one uh, customized data recovery video for those who are new to data recovery. And this is the video section 1. So the training classes today from Dolphin Data Lab will focus on the mind, the way of thinking in data recovery. So we will teach you how to recover the data from different storage medias. Like what I have written here, if you have a clear data recovery mind, you will achieve your great success. If you have any question, can you type in the message box? And we have engineer in the classroom will answer you, OK? Because most of you are new here, are new to data recovery. So first, I will share the very basic rules for you. Because many people who are new to data recovery, they often ask me one question. Can I buy your tools and fix all cases? I'm sorry, this is impossible. So the first, there's no universal tool except as God. He can fix all the cases for you. You must learn different tools are used to fix different cases. So like what we can offer to you, we have the disk imaging tool, the firmware repair tool, the head and platter swap tools. So these tools, they are designed quite differently. So they should be used differently. They are not for the same cases. So second rule, if you want to get a good success rate in data recovery, you must learn to share. Like if you join different forums or like you join the Dolphin Technology, yeah, the Technology Support Forum, you can make friends with other users. Yeah, and you can then share your firmware resources, share your ideas, share some, maybe even some useful technology articles you have seen somewhere else. Yeah, then others will share you with their resources. So the third one is you must keep learning new and practice by yourself. We offer the five remote chances for you, for users, to get the support for free. But please never depend on the remote to fix your cases. Otherwise, you are always out of scheme because you never understand really how to fix the cases by yourself. You don't know what happens. You just see the moving hands from the engineers, what they are doing. Then when you leave the remote, you learn nothing. So the fourth rule, if you want to start a data recovery business, you must prepare the following. Like you, not, you must have one special data recovery PC because our tools are designed with the USB 3 design. So your PC, if your PC has the USB 3 design, it's very good for you. And you need 
one special hardware dollar station. Then the station, you, you can put your dollar hard drives, your dollar PCB, your dollar head. This is very important. Whenever you have opportunities to buy such kind of dollars, you can buy it, especially some second-hand uh, drives, some drives with bad sectors from your friends, from some PC shops. Yeah, you can buy them and gather them together. So the third thing you need to prepare for your data recovery shop is the technical document archive and the firmware archive, the firmware database. Yeah, you must have the habit of collecting such kind of case studies, technical documents, and firmware resources, and category, yeah, categorize them. You must set up many categories. Then, you click them, and it's easy for you to search for the right dollar, search for the right documents, search for the right case studies from your own database you have set up. This is very important too. So, the first four rules reminds you how to prepare yourself. The last one, when you have the tools, when you have the resources, when you have the dollars, what's the most important is marketing your data recovery services. Yeah, because you need the drives coming. You need your, your own customers. So how to get your own customers? Maybe you have your own ideas. I just gave mine, suggest mine, for especially for those who are new to this field. First, you must market pro properly what you are able to offer. For example, if you're, you are using the hard drive tools, you market, you can do the SSD, the flash recovery services, you can, no, no, no. How about if the users bring you SSD, you say, no, sorry, I cannot. This is very bad for you. So market properly for what you are able to offer to your clients. This is very important. So second, do you have some social channels advertising or sharing? What do you can do? Like the Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, and other social marketing channels about your company, about your services. And you can make friends and tell them and share with them what you can do. This is your potential customer base. Third, have you shared your success, uh, success stories, your testimonials, and your, uh, uh, some of your articles about your services? Everything you, you may share to market your services, your company, your shop. The next is, are you willing to pay to advertise your company? I have some clients uh, from Greece, he told me that when I do advertisements on the Google AdWords, then I, I get continuing clients. But if I gave up, then very few clients coming. That means sometimes it, it, it's worth to pay something to get the clients coming. So you can think about it. So next one, you can even yeah print your your data recovery shop logo, some special symbol on your car or other kind of gates. Next, maybe you can set some cooperation relationship with 
some PC uh, selling companies, some or oh, some shops with the IT, yeah, relative IT products, or you can set a contract with some companies and even some like police stations, some enterprises, they don't have their own professional data uh, recovery centers or data recovery apps for such kind of enterprises. Then you can set a contract with them. Well, I think we have a lot of more ideas from your side. Yeah, you can share, maybe within our forum, or you can even PM to your friends. Then you can find the best way for you, for yourself, to get the potential clients. Okay, this is how you need to prepare yourself. Not only the tools, not only the resources, but the advertisements, the marketing of your services. This is very important.